Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Tawana, aka Miss.com, and this video is going to be me channeling in my inner crafter. So I have been looking at some top tab dividers because I know I wanted about two or three for my planner just to use to kind of block off certain sections. So I kind of shopped around for quite a few. Some of them either were the color I wanted or they already had words printed on them and I really wanted something that was blank so I could either add stickers or remove stickers to change them up. So with that being said, I said, hey, let's pull out some of the paper that I already have. Now this paper is old or it has come in subscription boxes or grab bags. So a lot of the paper that you're looking at right now is from um, Isa Ella Jules. I don't, I think if she has any grab bags available, they usually will say if they have um, the paper in there. And then I have some paper left over from Goldmine and Coco from the treasure chest boxes from like, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago. So I'm just in the season of let's pull some of this stuff out and see if we can make it work for what we need to get done. From start to finish, this really only took me about 20 minutes. I just sped the video up just because I did kind of spend some time looking through the fine paper. So I already had a clear top tab divider. I think I got these from Fancy Plans co maybe a year ago so i used that as my template and then i'm not the best cutter in the world so the having this um, paper cutter does come in handy especially when you're cutting those um that thicker plastic or you know the vellum using regular scissors sometimes is a little bit of extra work as you can see me trying to cut the top in the corner I did have to do it in sections I don't have one of those um, stamps where it'll give you the automatic rounded sides if you have one of those then this part of the process will be a whole lot easier for you than it was for me but I think we have to start looking at some of the things that we currently have what can we make instead of purchasing so for me all of the craft paper the um decorative um, vellum paper this was a way for me to put something in my planner that i most definitely have been looking for and i am cutting these for a classic size top tab now the only thing i wish i would have paid attention to is i wish i would have moved the tab around slightly so that way the tabs all the top tab portion all would not have been in the same space if that makes sense but the way that i'm using these they're not going to be back to back and because i made these all of these are different colors it's kind of easy to figure out what's what i probably will still go back and add some additional stickers to them that just label what they are and at the end of the year if i opt not to um if i opt to use those dividers again and i just want different headers of course i can just take a little bit of undo or a pair of tweezers and pull the stickers off so i did realize also i kind of cheated because i just made like small lines for where I was going to um, do the cutting. Now, if you're somebody who is going to be using scissors, my suggestion would be to actually draw the whole line versus just the start lines. The reason why I did the start lines is because I'm using a paper cutter. So once you line that up with the paper cutter, you're pretty much in the business. And again, cutting the tabs part the tab portions at the top was a little tricky but as you can see uh, this is going to be my planner for 2024 I'm already pulling taking things out and putting them in so as you can see from the top all of the tabs are pretty lined up with each other but because they are all different colors it worked out 
So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Remember to love up on yourself and love up on those who love you back. If you like these types of videos, definitely leave me a comment in the section below. Have a great day, guys.